Welcome to another episode of Counterpoint Conversations. Today I have a very special guest with me, Mr. Ashim Mathur, VP of Marketing Asia Pacific at Dolby Laboratories. Today uh, what we are going to talk about is trying to understand Dolby's journey. They fit in the value chain how they are bringing premium experiences or multimedia experiences to the uh, industry, every screen in the industry. So let me ask uh, Ashim can you talk about uh, the overall journey of dolby and your position in the value chain and how we are bringing different experiences end to end so sure. let me talk about how we work in the in the industry and how unique uh, way we operate in the so called content ecosystem so i know it's a it's a big jargon content ecosystem <laughs> but if i demystify that for for your audiences i think it's very simple it's it has three very basic pillars of how this is kind of uh, or how this works out it starts from content creation i think the core of everything what we do or what we try to do or what what we do in the industry actually starts and centered around content we try to make the content experiences the best way possible so in doing that we work with the content creators when when for example a director or a filmmaker is creating is a raw film they have a vision they they envision the way it should come out on the big screen now it is on a smaller screen and different form factors so i think they have a vision so we try to aim to tell to make sure that they have the right tools and the technologies to really put that vision onto the on onto the screen the way the best way possible and that in a uncompromised way so we work very closely with content creators music uh, creators uh, game creators uh, live sports whatever fashion point you want to think of so and i think that's the upstream creation of content and that's mm-hmm. a very big part of work which we do at dolby in india in asia in china and across the world we make sure that the content which is created is created in the best way possible with our flagship technology say dolby atmos and dolby vision so that's one part of it right second comes when the content is created how it then goes and gets distributed so that brings in the, all the over the top services set up box operators so we make sure that we try to work with the with the, all these people to make sure that the content which is created in dolby mm-hmm. is also distributed in mm-hmm. dolby otherwise it's going to not get replicated on the consumer side and then finally which is the a very important pillar of consumption which is all the devices we work very closely with all the global devices whether it is television sound bars smartphones laptops tablets you name the device <laughs> and we work with almost practically the entire uh, uh, let's say oem infrastructure and nowadays we are at the shanghai auto show with the, with the car makers to make sure that the content which is created distributed is also played back in the right way i think once that these three boxes or these three pillars hit and are in, in the right line that's where you get the best cinematic or whatever best experience you can think of and at the end of the day as i said uh, we try to make the content experiences better you all we all love our entertainment but when it is in dolby you love it more absolutely and uh our research also shows that there's a step change when you use a dolby but a uh, related experience whether it's sound or vision right yeah. and uh how it brings the premium experience right across the different screens yeah. that becomes a big differentiator for oems yeah. uh, who are trying to bring premium uh, experiences in their devices yeah. right yeah. and so forth how do you see uh, in recent times your partnerships have evolved across creation distribution and uh the devices right can you talk about yeah. a bit oh, of course i mean as you know uh, we our very strong legacy is in cinema and that still continues i mean it, there are globally there are thousands of titles which are released and 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 dolby at one point we were very we were we we, we were right at the heart of cinema we still are but all now we have expanded the the way the content is now consumed is is far different than probably what it was few decades back correct uh, i think ott is is a huge huge function of how people are consum- consuming entertainment streaming services whether it is for music or for music and video together so i think that has evolved a lot and we have evolved with them and we have actually led the way in terms of creating the same experiences in right. either in a living room scenario or on the go scenario or now in the car so so whether the consumer is in the theater or in the living room or it's on the go or in a uh, in an automobile we make sure that that experience is really the best way possible we are right. comparing what what is better and what is not but i think if you are for example listening to your music out of the just the stereo uh, say a speaker or a phone or if you're listening with a headphone we are not saying they're not comparing but we are saying right. whatever you the way we want to experience that experience is the best so nice right. we have worked with all the uh, platforms and the streaming services globally i would say and and you can name any one of them and 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 really brought that to the consumers and i think one, one thing which has also helped us in the in the last few years is how the brand has taken a different mm. shape altogether because one way is to put it all the together and make people aware but i think for us awareness is one part of it but familiarity and the education is the second part of it because people okay. should know how to get the best what they need connect and how to connect it in the right way possible and then experience is consistently so i think we have been able to do and change a lot of things the way we have been talking to the directly to the consumers across the world 
how we have evolved uh, in our marketing, say, uh, the outreaches as well, how we have evolved with our partners, whether it is the retail en enablement or the demo content. Mm -hmm. of, like, for example, at the auto show, you go, you can go around different partner booths, you'll see a lot of demo content playing for Dolby. Dolby. So we really want to enable the partners with the, with the right talks. And that's how we try to educate the consumers. And when there's a good level of familiarity with the brand, brand and then the people know what to get and how to get and what to do with it, I think that creates the best uh, experience for the consumers at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our research also shows that uh, consumers are willing to pay more if it's a Dolby-based device, right? If there's a Dolby technology embedded in it, right? And that is bringing a lot of premium experiences for different consumers, right? When you talk about the end-to-end -end availability of your uh, different tools and your li software and licensing for bringing Dolby experiences, right? How do you see moving forward, right? Where are the different gaps in the market where you see it can be dolby fight? Yeah, of course. I mean, and you're right. I mean, for example, in Ottawa, but we just started a few years back. We have had our amazing ramp up. We are, but there is still a big way to go. I mean, there are millions of cars which are sold. A lot of those experiences are still not dolby. So I think right. one way is to grow there. You look at living room. Hmm. I mean, we have been in the television. That's more mature businesses. But still, there's a huge amount of um, uh, say market which is still yet to be captured in terms of enable these, these experiences, even smartphones. So I think one way we look at. Uh, from Dolby's perspective is how we can democratize that experience. Mm -hmm. So the devices are available at different price points, screen sizes, whatever the, the way the consumers want. The content, for example, even if you talk of India, for example, there are con we need content in multiple languages. Right. If, if it, they zoom it out and no, make it global, you need it hundreds of languages. <laughs> languages. So how you can scale that whole thing out, which is local yet global and right, global and local both. So I think there is a lot of room to still make sure these experiences are is, are available far and wide in different form factors and different screens or whatever metric you want to put there. But but yeah, I think there's a long way to go and make sure these people are in general are able to experience the best way possible. That's great. Personally, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Dolby. Most of my devices at home are Dolby enabled, uh, Dolby capable, right? So uh, look forward to your journey and mapping it uh, in future, how you evolve and. Yeah. Congratulations again on uh, a very good demonstration and partnerships at this particular show. Thank you so much. And we couldn't have done it with, without your, your guys' support and your team's uh, support and bringing the, the ground level data up so that, that that becomes a good reference for us that we are in the right direction. So I think that really Absolutely. reinforces the fact that consumers are appreciating what we are putting in the in the devices and the vehicles now. And, and, and that gives us the confidence that what we are doing is definitely making us sense and, and an impact in the market. Absolutely. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.